Hey guys, Sethley here back with another Apex Legends video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in today's video, we're gonna be going over some news we have gotten over the past little bit. So first off, if you guys didn't know, the trailer called Meet Newcastle, Apex Legends character trailer was released. So I'll show some clips of that on screen right now for you guys. Apex tweeted out saying, Meet Newcastle, a heroic defender who will do whatever it takes to protect his squad and his secrets. So that is very cool that we got to see somewhat of gameplay of the new legend Newcastle but we also got the official abilities I'll show them on screen right now so first off we have his tactical ability the mobile shield throw a controllable drone that creates a moving energy shield then we have the passive ability called retrieve the wounded drag downed allies as you revive and protect them with your revive shield lastly we have the ultimate and it is called castle wall leap to an ally or target area and slam down down creating a fortified stronghold which obviously this is very cool it is a new support legend a defense character which is very cool but there is some more info about newcastle so the strength of newcastle's revive shield is based on the level of knockdown shield he has which is pretty interesting next newcastle can redirect his mobile shield's direction and enemies can destroy it Lastly, when his ult is live, Newcastle can lock on to teammates to leap to them, which I think is a very cool small addition. Also, there was some other information about Newcastle I thought was pretty interesting. So Alpha Intel tweeted out saying, Newcastle was previously a legend called Axiom. The abilities were for a breach and clear play style, and the passive was around shield batteries, but was scrapped because they were not team-based enough and too selfish, which I think is pretty interesting and obviously with the introduction of a new support and defense legend people have been talking about lifeline and how she might need a buff a lot of people have been asking for an entire rework as well i don't really know what i would change about lifeline but i would not be mad at a buff so we did actually get some information from an article where a dev answered some questions so when asked whether the combat medic would be receiving any buffs or changes in saviors during the dev q a senior game designer dev Kevin McGuire revealed that no lifeline changes are coming in season 13. Although the devs have been evaluating her kit and will continue to do so, they do not consider lifeline a priority as her pick rate is still relatively high heading into the new season. But they did also say that lifeline and Newcastle are very different roles, so I thought that was pretty interesting. They are kind of in the same category but have different play styles. Also, we did get some new information that Respawn is actively prototyping more support characters for Apex Legends. The devs said they have heard feedback about wanting more support characters and are looking to balance out the roster, which I would definitely not be mad at if we got another support legend in the future, and I'm sure a lot of people would be happy about that as well. Lastly, there's just one small thing I did want to let you guys know. So Apex tweeted out, Apex Mobile arrives later this month. Pre-register at the links below so you're ready to hot drop on day one. Make sure to let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about Lifeline not getting any buffs or changes in season 13. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a ton. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. But it's been your boy Sethley, and I'm out.